Court 2 has Uber Cup action right now between Chinese Taipei and Tahiti. We've witnessed three matches so far. Women's singles saw Payu Po defeat Maya Bagaya 21-6, 21-6. And then the second women's singles saw Hongli Ting uh, get past Melissa Mi Yu 21-4, 21-4. The final women's singles matchup between Yu Xian Hui and Herotia Kure ended 21-5, 21-8 in the favor of Chinese Taipei, which means they have taken a 3 0 lead. They've sealed the tie. Coming up though, it is the women's doubles match, the first of the women's doubles match between Su Ya Ching, Wu Ling Fang and Maeva Gaia. She's back on board as is Melissa Miu. The last of the women's doubles will be played between Chang Chin Hui and Li Chi Chen, taking Herota, Herota Kure and Chloe Segrostan. That's what's coming up on court two. The match that we are just about to witness will be the women's doubles tie between Su Ya Ching and Hu Ling Fang, who've uh, paired up for quite some time now. We'll uh, see them take on Maeva Gayard and Melissa Miu of uh, Tahiti. And uh, those two girls, having just played their women's singles rubber, will now pair up for the women's doubles. As the players get ready to walk on court, but first up, it'll be the officials who will come through and take their positions around the court. Suya Ching and Hu Ling Fang has, have been playing for Chinese Taipei for quite some time now, uh, initially with different partners, and then they paired up in uh, 2018 at the Fujo Open and have been together since. So they have been stalwarts in the Chinese Taipei team for quite some time. Joining me in the commentary seat is someone who knows plenty about the women's doubles game. Being a part of it herself is Grania Somerville. And uh, these Chinese Taipei women's doubles players are certainly a powerful combination and bring a lot of experience to the court. Yeah, definitely. They are well-versed in women's doubles. As they walk onto the court, Gronia, Surya Ching and Wu uh, Ling Fang of Chinese Taipei. Ya Ching and uh, Ling Fang also play mixed doubles for Chinese Taipei and they're quite successful. Ya Ching especially with Li Jia Hui has formed a very successful partnership for Chinese Taipei. But together, they have done well as a pair and uh, they played in the Sudiman Cup as recently. They played against uh, Tahiti as well. They took on uh, Gaillard and Curé. So this is probably another experience for Gaillard as well as Melissa Miu to take on the so-called veterans of the tour in Yaqing and Ling Fang. The girls walking onto court, having just finished their singles rubber not so long ago. And uh, they'll be excited to get this match underway. And Hu Ling Fang there with a Quite a big compression band or brace along her leg. It is their first meeting between the two, though Gayad was part of the partnership that played Su and Hu in uh, the Sudaman Cup, but she played, her partner then was Kure. So between these two pairs, it's the uh, first meeting. And uh, we just witnessed the toss of the coin. That's uh, Hu Ling Fang on your screens there, warming up with her partner. And uh, they both have been playing for Chinese Taipei for some time. They played in the last edition of the Uber Cup, albeit with different partners. And uh, Surya Ching there, she's 30 years of age, 165 centimeters tall, ranked 29 in the world. She was as high as 22 with Hu Ling Fang, so they are a successful pair who have been together for 
more than two years, born in Tainan, Chinese Taipei. And they just narrowly missed out on qualifying for the Olympics. They actually didn't compete in many of the, the final qualification tournaments. So they were, would be next to have qualified in the women's doubles. Bu Ling Fang, 23 years of age, and so a uh, much younger partner, 171 centimeters tall, born in Kaohsiung, Chinese Taipei, and uh, also a big part of this Chinese Taipei team and setup, having played in the Uber Cup edition in the previous years. Back on our screens, Maeva Gaya of Tahiti. She's just finished her women's singles match against Pai Yupo and now is in the women's doubles. She's 14 years of age and 158 centimeters tall, born in Agen, Tahiti. She's played women doubles with Esther Tao previously, ranked 606 in the world. Melissa Mi Yu also has played women's doubles, but with Nina Smith, ranking 462 in the world. She's 17, born in the capital, Hapte Tahiti, and 155 centimeters tall. So a new pairing of sorts, because uh, Dayad played with Cure in the Sudaman Cup against the Chinese Taipei pair. The Hedam Larson is the umpire who will be officiating the match alongside uh, Daniel Wolf of Austria, who will be the service judge. So kind of like a scratch pair, if you want to call it that, Melissa and uh, Maeva, Eminem. <laughs> I think Tahiti's just making the most of, you know, mixing up the pairs, giving all the girls different opportunity to play and experience on court, which is, you know, a great chance to do that here at the Uber Cup where they get a few matches under their belt. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Tahiti, represented by Melissa Miyu and Maeva Gia. And on my left, Chinese Taipei, represented by Su Ya Ying and Wu Li Fan. Chinese Taipei to serve, Wu Li Fan to Melissa Miyu. Love all, play. And we One, start two. off with the first game in this women's doubles matchup with Chinese Taipei getting the first point to love. and uh, Su Ya Ching and Hu Ling Fang have uh, reached the semi-finals of the Korea Masters in 2019 they reached the finals of the Orleans so Masters as well so 2019 One, was a good year for them before sort of the season was cut short in 2020 and hampered their Olympic preparations and even their Olympic qualification a little bit. Yeah, they were starting to get some really good wins under their belt and really progressing through the ranks. So it'll be good for them to play here. And then I think they're going on to play some tournaments with the Denmark Open, French Open and German Open as well. So back on tour in a big way. Oh. That was an unusual mistake in front of the net from Ling Fang. Service over. Four. She made up for it with that great return. just wanting to try and just get into the rally in the first few shots here and from there they can take some more chances it was straight at Melissa Miu the shot came straight at her
again, just not being able to find their range to Hidi. They've got to keep the shuttle in play as much as possible, get those rallies going. And uh, would the Tunisians be feeling a bit tired, maybe, having come off those singles matches? Would this be asking a little bit too much out of their bodies? Um, they might be a little bit fatigued. I think more so mentally, probably, as those matches weren't, weren't super long. But I think, yeah, just having to bounce back straight away and, you know, switch over to the doubles is always a bit of a tough ask. 11-2. In this first game, just three minutes is what it took for Surya Ching and Hu Ling Fan to take the lead midway through this first game. And the experience and control of the Chinese Taipei pair certainly showing already in this game. You can see her that Hu Ling Fan is pointing to her ankle and talking to her coach. So hopefully she's feeling okay. She's heavily dressed up in, I think, compression garments and then kinesiology tape underneath that. Players back on court with Chinese Taipei to serve at 11 2. Nice drop shot there by Maiva making Ling Fong have to lunge super deep to get that. Again, great, great net play. It was a nice drop shot there yeah. from Maiva, but then um, Su so Ching just had a better, even res better response with her net touch. The Tahitian pair just struggling to get out, de out of defense with the power that's coming at them from the Chinese Taipei pair. Unlucky leave. Those ones are always tricky when they're so high and you know it's right near the edge of the line. Sometimes it's safer just to hit it. Oh, she did well to get there. Yeah, that was some good defense by Tahiti. Good return, and then following it up, staying in that front corner for the expected shot coming back and a nice kill. Encouragement from the team just to keep going and uh, staying strong. Playing the best badminton. Oh, that was a oh. beautiful drop shot from Hu Ling Fang there. Really had some deception in it, making it look like it was going to be a smash, winding up as if she was going to play a power shot and then just taking the pace out nice and skillfully. And just like that, we're two points away from uh, the first game being wrapped up by Chinese Taipei. She went for that in a rush, maybe. Yeah, I don't think she was expecting that to come to her that fast. So it's 25, it's game point for Chinese Taipei. And with that, 
It is 21-5. Chinese Taipei sealing the first game. Doing well to keep controlling and dominating that match. Five in seven minutes is what it took Su Ching and Hu Ling Fang to clinch the first game. And uh, I wonder if it's affecting her movement, Hu Ling Fang, but uh, with a possible nibble that she's carrying at her, on her ankle. Tahu from both here, they, they just need to focus on those first three shots and trying to get them into the rally. And then once they're within it, trying to get the attack if they can, as they seem to be struggling a bit more in the defence. And then if they are in the defence, trying to counter, you know, use their blocks to come forward and try and get the attack. They've stayed calm and uh, they stayed collected even though things haven't been going their way in this match. So here we go in the second game, training circuit to serve to try and seal victory. And of course, both the Chinese Taipei girls are quite confident around the front court, also doing very well in their mixed doubles partnerships. Yes, with Chinese Taipei, they do uh, tend to play both women's and mixed doubles in the team. Uh, there's very few pairs who just focus on uh, a single double discipline? Yeah, I think it's only, you know, within the top ten or so that they will start to only play one event. And before that, I think it's I think it's good to play both events, get some more matches and experience under your belt in each tournament and have, you know, a bit more to to test yourself with and not just bank on one event and then be done with it if you happen to lose earlier in the tournament. Yeah, with uh, Li Yang and Wang Chilin, who recently won the gold medal in the Olympics. Uh, for the longest time, Li Yang uh, was playing mixed doubles as well. And it's just recently with uh, that he's decided, or the team's decided, that they focus on men's doubles only. And of course, it's worked out. It, it's, it's shown what that can deliver as far as they're concerned. Yeah, exactly. It just gives you that a little bit more focus to put into that one event and especially in a tournament setting when you're making it all the way through to the finals you won't be as fatigued with playing two events when you have so many matches that you would be needing to play if it was two events as opposed to one. Nice cross cut shot there from Melissa catching Hu Ching off guard a little bit. Let's start for Tahiti here. It's slightly closer in the second game between the two pairs. Unfortunately. 
that return has found the net. was a hard hit from uh, Hu Ling Fang. Maybe too hard as she found the net. Bit of a loose serve there. Where Xu Ya Qing was able to really do as she pleased with that return. And so Chinese Taipei take the lead in the second game, 11-5 in the um, mid-interval break. It's taken five minutes to get to 11 points for Chinese Taipei and uh, they'll be looking to build on this in the second half of the second game and make sure that uh, they put the team up 4-0 and uh, try and secure a clean sweep overall. And so the players come back on court to restart the second game as uh, Hu Ling Fang prefer Serves up. It was a great drop shot from pulling from there, from the back of the court. So you're actually very confident to step into that shot. Again, stepping in, just able to drive it cross court. It's a 10-point lead now for Chinese Taipei in this women's doubles. It's really well played by the Chinese Taipei pair, moving Gayard in the backcourt and then Backhand down the middle. Again, straight at the player, making it hard for her to return that shot. And it's 17-5 now for Chinese Taipei. Tahiti still hanging in there, putting in a good fight. Well, she left it late. Seven, she almost, it almost looked like she was going to let it go. And, and then decided that, later. A little bit of confusion about if the front court person might take it. Again, really well played. Chinese Star Bay, just confidence 18. oozing from the game at the moment. It's 18 7. Two points away, they're edging closer to victory. And with that net shot, it is 13 match points for Chinese Taipei. Oh, great backhand there from Su Ya Ching. It is 
game set match for Chinese Taipei. They won a 21-5, 21-7 in this women's doubles to give their team 4-0 lead. That's confirmation of the scores there. 16 minutes is all it took for Su Ching and Hu Ling Fang to secure victory over their Tahitian opponents. And the players are uh, getting ready to walk off court. They'll be pretty happy with how things went. And uh, giving Hu Ling Fang enough rest as well uh, to get ready in time for the Korean match. There's a match point there between the two, and that backhand is what did the damage. Melissa Miyu couldn't return it well enough, unfortunately, so that meant Chinese Taipei have uh, made it four zip in this group C fixture. There's one more match to come on this morning session on court two. One women's doubles fixture left. Chang Ching Hui, Li Chi Chin taking on Chloe Sagostro and Hirotia Cure. Welcome to Aarhus, Denmark. This is the second largest city in the country of Denmark and it's the city of youngsters. And they drive the population in the city. It's got a bigger student population than it's got a working population. But right now, it's all about the badminton that's happening here in the Sarah's Arena between Chinese